Duval County Public School students will spend more time in the classroom this school year after district leaders made a change to the school calendar. So this update means four half days scheduled for the last week of school will now be full days. Our Tia Collins is on your side tonight with reaction from teachers and parents. She's joining us now from district headquarters in Atia. Why did school leaders make this change? Well, Anthony, in a press release, district, district leaders say they are addressing concerns they have heard from parents about child care during the last week of school. And district leaders say they also wanted to give teachers more time for end of year instruction. However, not everyone I talked to is happy about this updated schedule. Special education teacher Chris Gieri is already preparing for his end of year tasks. There's so much paperwork you have to do at the end of the year for teachers and you have to get your room ready. Those four half days were a boon for teachers. The four half days during the last week of school will now be full days of instruction after district leaders made the change halfway through the school year. I don't think anybody really knew what was going on until it happened. We have to get buy in from teachers for things that affect teachers. We can't just go, hey, you have to do this. And I have to say, if this was such a big problem, why wasn't it addressed last summer? District leaders say they talked to a committee made up of parents, teachers, staff, and other stakeholders. Moving to full days, they hope, will help parents struggling to find childcare, address low student attendance during that week, and increase time for teachers to give instruction. They actually get their full class time. They have somewhere to go. So those that are not um, equipped to be able to have that type of help that they need in regards of their children, it definitely does help them. Geneva Barber, a DCPS parent and teacher, heard about the update from the news, making her question just how much the district got input from staff beforehand. It is more convenient to give people more of a timely manner to do what needs to be done because we don't want to run into the fact that we are not um, giving our best due to not being able to be prepared better. Now the Duval County Teachers Union is conducting a survey right now asking teachers how they feel about the change and the input process leading up to the decision. If you're a parent, you can head to the Duval County Public Schools website to see an updated and adjusted school year calendar. Reporting in Jacksonville, Tia Collins, First Coast News on your side.